dispuestos. Welcome to Eindhoven. Uh, my name is Miriam van der Lubbe. I'm a designer. I have a small studio together with Niels van Eyck. This week is Dutch Design Week in Eindhoven and uh, we're going to have a, a look around the city. Eindhoven is actually a very small city compared to the you know, big capitals in, the, in Europe or in the world. It's, it's a group of, I think, about seven villages that grew together into Eindhoven. The big thing in Eindhoven was the Second World War. The, the, the center of Eindhoven really got destroyed and they built it up in the, in the 50s. At that time it really became a very ugly city, I have to say. <laughs> it's not nice to be here, it does not please you. But it has space and it has opportunities. It's really different here than from places like Amsterdam, where uh, everything is so neat and so clean, you can only fall off your pedestal. Well, in Eindhoven, it can only get better. And I think that's the mentality of doing things instead of waiting. What is an important aspect in Eindhoven, of course, is industry. Philips was here. I think it was, was about the 80s that Philips decided to leave Eindhoven. And then everybody realized that really something should happen and people were afraid that it would become this non-area. And I think they, they picked that up really well. We are entering uh, Stripe, and Stripe is a major part of Eindhoven Center, actually. And there are all these old Philips buildings. Trudeau, which, which is the, actually now the owner of Stripe, uh, they bought these industrial buildings, and they first gave it to the creative people. So they said, like, you know, you go ahead, you work here. electricity building. We were having our workspace in here when we graduated from Design Academy, but they gave it to, to the creative industry. TAC, Temporary Art Center, and it is also a former Philips spot. Also this place, they gave it to the creative community. Of course, in Eindhoven, you have Design Academy. They're already for 70 years now. I grew out of Philips uh, also, because uh, they saw that design was an important aspect of products. It educated a lot of interesting designers, I think. In Eindhoven, it was that as soon as people graduated, they left, but now they're coming back because they really see that there's something going on here that is interesting. Here, uh, you see the Eve Luan. Eve Luan was also a part of uh, uh, Philips. There was like this innovation lab. PSV Stadium, the football stadium. I've never been in there. <laughs> I really would like to go there to a football match. Now we're uh, heading to the high tech campus, uh, which is new. This is like business area, you know, uh, but on innovation and, and on technique. I see there a huge opportunity for Eindhoven because it has all these aspects in it. It has the academic world, it has science, it has the creative world, it definitely has industry. In, in Holland, the government pointed out three main regions. Airport, which is a Schiphol area. Seaport, Rotterdam with the harbors. And Brainport, which is Eindhoven. And the Brainport area was in 2011 uh, named to be the, uh, the smartest region in the world. The potential of what is here is, you know, just starting to come out. Yeah. And there's so much more that can, can actually happen here. I really believe that.